Becoming a wig influencer. If y'all probably if y'all probably watched my last video that I posted, yeah, this was recorded on the same day. That's why I got the same breakfast right here on the same day. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Ain't no time like the presence. Um. So there's been a lot of people that have been like, oh, you can become a wig influencer. You can get free wigs from Amazon and yada, 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 which you can. That is not a lie. You can get free wigs from Amazon, which is true. But what the girls don't be telling y'all is just like, first, a lot of these companies going to look at your, they wouldn't want to look at your Amazon profile. So what I mean by Amazon profile it's like you go to your Amazon account and you click on, you basically click on yourself. This is what they're going to look at. They're going to look at that. Yeah, I have eight reviews. It's a new account. You know, it's a new account. So, but they're going to look at that and they're going to look at, you know, they're going to look at how many reviews have you done and all this other stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it ain't got nothing to do with hair or it doesn't matter like what type of review you be reviewing products on. It doesn't matter if it has to be hair. It could be hair, lashes. It could be electronics. It could be anything that you order off of Amazon. I recommend all y'all to like start writing reviews, writing reviews, start writing reviews for everything that you have brought and all this other stuff in Amazon. They're going to send you an email saying that the review has been approved and it's posted and it's up and all this other stuff like that. That's the first step. The second step of this process, you got to have an Instagram or a TikTok. You got to have an Instagram or a TikTok for sure. So, yeah, um, step, step two, no, I already said step two, step three. Okay, so with some of these girls, when you just say you can go on Amazon and look for what type of weed that you want and all this other stuff like that, do not go for the ones that have a high High ratings. Don't go for them. Go for the ones that have like small ratings, like that's under like 500 ratings. If they got under 500 ratings, then yeah, they're probably looking for people to rate their stuff. So go for the ones that's under 500 ratings. And then step four, this is totally up to you and your discretion. Um, you can look at their Amazon profile, like their name, the name that's on the, 
Let me put it in. Let me give y'all an example for y'all can understand where I'm going with it. So, like, with this, they, with this one, they DM me. They DM me. What I'm talking about, like, you can DM them. Either you can DM them on their Amazon account. Or you can look up that name, visit the, whatever that says, store. You can look up that name in the Amazon profile. But be mindful, be mindful. Not all of their, not all of their names on their Amazon profile is going to match the name on their Instagram profile. I'm going to just keep it. I'm going to keep it above. Uh, step five, you got to look at your Instagram profile. If you, if you do not have, like, any pictures in wigs or anything like that, or you haven't tagged any other company, like, saying, like, oh, like, this shirt is from At Sheen or this this wig is from At another company. It don't matter. It, it could be anything. You could tag it from wherever the hell you got it from. It don't matter. Just tag it, you know, when you're wearing it. Um, so they can come through on your Instagram because they actually do see that, too, on your Instagram page, too. Um, what else? So there is three methods for these Amazon review, like these Amazon ways. There's three me methods. One, they either pay up first, which means you gotta have a PayPal, either PayPal. If you don't have PayPal, then you need to get one for sure. You need to hurry up and link it and all this other stuff where you can get your money. Um, you gotta have a PayPal. Then they're going to PayPal you the money for the wig. Now, let, let's, let's be mindful. They are not paying for the taxes nor the shipping and handling. They're not paying for that unless the wig is under $60. Now, if you do not have Amazon Prime, then okay, that's where that comes into play. If you do not have Amazon Prime, they will not, um, they are not going to pay for that shipping, shipping and handling, nor taxes. They won't. I'm letting y'all know that right now. So, let's, let's, let's get that out there now. Then, then on top of that, another thing is, They, um, another thing is, is, damn. So the first method is they pay up front. They give you the money for you to order it. And after they give you money and you transfer it to your bank or whatever the case may be, either you wait that one to three days or you do it instantly. It just depends on who you're talking to. Then you go ahead, you go ahead, to, you go ahead and have to order that, uh, What's the face that we, and that's it. And then boom, that's the first method. The second method is where you pay, you pay, you buy the wig, you give them the order number. And then after you do a review, they refund you. So that's called review. Uh, that's called refund after review, refund after review. The third one is 50, 50. They'll send you the first half in the beginning. And then after it's reviewed, they're going to send you the other half of the money. So basically, if a wig is $100, they'll send you 50 up front. And then after you reviewed it and after you give them five stars, they're going to send you the other half. Uh, 
other than that, I will say this. You have to give them five stars. It doesn't matter if if it was like poor quality or anything like that. You have to give them five stars. You have to put videos and pictures. You have to have a pair like it don't have to be like a full paragraph. It could be like a mini paragraph for like, you know, as your review. You have to. It's most definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to. Even though you might not want to do it, but you have to. Um, and another thing. If you start to get more companies and more companies coming to you, be like, oh, can you review this for me for free? You know, and all this other stuff. Let's get on the topic of commissions. Do I charge people for um, me promoting their stuff? No, I don't. Because one thing is I don't have that many followers like that. Not on Instagram or on TikTok. I don't have that many followers. I don't. But Facebook, I have like, I have like four, 4,300 followers. I wish I could have them same amount of followers on my TikTok and on my Instagram. I'll be all right. I promise you that. But that's not the case. Um, but yeah, so just be just be mindful of that. You can charge them. But me personally, if you ain't got a lot of followers, if you ain't got a lot of followers, don't even don't even try i mean don't even try but there are some companies that will give you there are some companies that will give you commission without you even asking there are some companies that will and those are the rare ones they're very rare so some I have had like a few companies that have reached out to me and be like, oh, can you review this wig? And, da, 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 da. and they actually gave me some extra money on top of the money that I spent on that wig. So, yeah, be mindful of that. And also... Make content in the wig. It don't matter what the fuck you're doing. Just make content in the damn wig. It don't matter how long you're going to wear it. If you're going to wear it for a week, wear that bitch for a week. Make content for a week. And then if you got another wig, get that one prepared. Wear it that one for a week. Put it in different styles. Yada, yada, yada. Do all that. Mm-hmm. Do all that good stuff. Then, uh, what's, what's, what's next? What's next? And then you can also, I feel like I've covered everything. I think I have. But yeah, anything else that y'all want me to cover, just leave it in the comments. And I will cover it if I know information about it, but... Don't be minding these girls on fucking TikTok and shit. They be wanting to fucking gatekeep and shit and don't even want to be putting nobody on. Like, that shit's sad as fuck. Mm, so, yeah. If y'all like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And most definitely, y'all hit that button to make sure y'all get notified when I post something. Peace. Peace.